Lids and Gullivers. Yeah, we've got a few tonight. Um, well, I'm not going to attempt to play them all at once, but uh, anyway, let's have a review of what we can get little Eddie Van Hooligan or um, young Alberta Caster for Christmas this year. Here's a selection of a few mini guitars. So, let's go. Listen to the pickups on clean now, we've heard them distorted, and we're going to go in terms of power. So we're going to go from the least powerful to the most powerful. Weirdly, that also equates to price. And fret um, count as well. I think this one's got 20, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So. <laughs> Position between the, so that was the bridge in between the position between the bridge and the center. That's the center between the center and the neck. This one, okay, basswood body, maple neck, and a basswood or poplar anyway. Uh, you've got the three pickups. I always like what Leo Fender said about these. Uh, lead, rhythm, normal, very amusing. Uh, one tone, one volume, a five position blade switch. And this has a scale length of, I think, 22 and a quarter inches. And uh, these can be bought from absolutely any of the regular music shops that you'll be used to uh, for 150 quid which I think is to be fair an absolute bargain and I would say age wise I would say probably you know well obviously because uh, kids are all different sizes but generally speaking I'd say sort of 10 to 14 10 to 13 something like that uh, next, so uh, these pickups are all popping out about 3.5. Uh, this is the next least uh, powerful. Uh, the pickups on here are knocking out about five. So we've got three and a half there, five on here. This is a 19 inch scale. Um, and with a, the, the shorter the scale, really the heavier the strings uh, you want on uh, to aid tuning stability. So. This one, which comes in at 22 and a bit, uh, has got tens on it. Uh, this one also has got tens on it. This has got elevens on, and the VB's got elevens on. So, uh, on the uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> Position between the two single pickups. So very nice. Uh, but this will make it, actually this will make a brilliant travelling guitar because there's no sharp edges on it. It's nice and uh, dinky. It's ever so light. And uh, again, this you know probably five to ten years old. I'm guessing uh, will do you, yeah? uh, or will do for uh, a child of that age. Now we've now got in terms of power. Either the Ibanez or the Epiphone Viwi, and surprisingly, the next in the power lineup is the Ibanez. So the Epiphone has the most, although it's only got one pickup, it certainly has the most powerful. Uh, this is popping out, I think you'll see some numbers back here, but I think this is popping about 13, and this is. 11 or 12, something like that. Uh, anyway, let's have a listen to that. So, uh, this has got a five position blade switch as well. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the Vox teardrop. You can buy those directly from Vox for 149 quid. They come in three colours. They come in uh, this aqua marine. They come in red. And they also come in marble, which is interesting. The squires. Squire Minis come in either red or black. Uh, the Ibanez Micros come in this blue and pink colour. Uh, they come in black, they come in white, they come in red and green as well. There's a, a great deal more flavours, I would say, with the uh, Ibanez. Uh, right, so, uh, starting with the Bridge Humbucker. <laughs> And then, when you move one in, it gives you the, I think, the inside 
single coil. Into the center position, which is both humbuckers. And then when you move on to the fourth position, it's just the inside coil from the neck humbucker. Then the neck humbucker. Yeah, um, yes, two hundred nine quid from the usual places. Oh yeah, you know, probably you probably find them for two hundred if you shopped around, wouldn't you? And then uh, the most powerful, which is the Epiphone V uh, Well, they don't make them anymore. They haven't made them for years. And they came in either red or black. Um, I think this is made. This is made in Indonesia. Is it two thousand and nine? I think it might be two thousand and nine. They're made in Indonesia. Uh, which factory? I'm not sure. Uh, and certainly, I think this is popping out about fifteen. It's. A, I think it's an Epiphone. It's one of Epiphone's own uh, own bookers anyway. Um, and these are remarkably a mahogany neck set into a basswood body. It's a bolt on, well, they're all bolt on necks. Um, rosewood fingerboard on the usual caper. Lovely, durable poly finish. Uh, just the single volume, volume control, which uh, suits me. Uh, cuts down on the heartache uh, for my money. Again, this one is strung with 11s. Uh, the, by the way, they all set up brilliantly. They've all got truss rods. Uh, they've all got height adjustable uh, strings. So uh, anybody who has a reasonable idea of what they're doing can set them up to play brilliantly. Um, big fat sound from this one and uh, price wise well if you can find one there's what well, I only found one today uh, on eBay and that was 320 quid so you know uh, and again age wise probably well, I was gonna say five to ten but I think Eddie Van Halen used to play one of these so uh, you know uh, that's it in summary um, do I have a favourite? Well, they all do different things for different people. Uh, but certainly, if you're full size, uh, then obviously the one with the longest neck scale, which is the Ibanez, is, I mean, I mean these really are, oh, these are gigable. In fact, I mean, really, so are these, to be fair. But, um, yeah, very much horses for courses, and always go for the one that you like the look of best, because they all do more or less the same thing. But the Ibanez is a little bit more grown up. All right, and uh, with that, I shall thank you all for tuning in, having a look at the tiny guitars, and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios, amigos. Ta-ra.